everyone, welcome to Sharing Life Issues with Her Excellency Hajia Ami. Welcome to Itanae Gidi, La Baring Duni Anagaskia, Akukondu Madu, Real Life Story. Today I'll be telling you a real life story from our inbox. I hope everybody is doing well. May the peace and blessings of the Almighty Allah and the Almighty God continue to be on all of us. Sorry, good morning, Mama. Is this fair? My fiancé and I have been saving together. We are actually married by court. But my father said it's nonsense that until he comes for the traditional marriage, he's not my husband, that he didn't give me to him. We have saved a huge amount of money, of which mine is the highest every month. He's bringing 40K and I'm saving 70K per month because I still stay with my parents and don't really have any cause to spend much even though I go to my fiance's house. I take food from my parents, toiletries and things we need in his place. I take food always so he does not really spend much too. The money is more than 1.5 million because we have saved for over a year. He's telling me stories that his mother and siblings needed money, so he used the money and he will give me back. Marriage didn't do. We were actually saving up so that we can at least do a minimal traditional wedding. I asked him why he didn't tell me before using the money and he fled up. That which one is important, him or the money? That small money now he used to take care of his mother, who will be my mother and his siblings, who will be my siblings, that I am complaining and shouting. I don't know if I want to marry again. What did he use over 1.5 million for? He didn't talk. Just say his mother and siblings needed money. And he had to use that money to sort them out. Our money, oh, why this man behave like this? Why? And to even add insult to injury, he asked me yesterday that when am I sending my own contributions for this month? I just hissed and cut off the phone. He didn't call me since then, but sent me a lengthy message. He's now saying I have shown myself that I cannot let him handle money that the decision he made is for both of us. Decision I knew nothing about, but because the money is in one of his accounts, imagine. I'll go ahead and read some of the messages from our members at Sharing Life Issues with Her Excellency Hajia Ami. And Oba Shopping Ashore stated, well, romance fraud is a crime as he used the money without your consent for another purpose apart from intended. Why should a man spend his wife's money on his mother and siblings without her consent? If you want her help, talk to her if she is willing to help. And if you spend her money, refund it. Else such a man is a scammer and he will suffer that lady while lying to another lady outside. What is the guarantee that he has not impregnated another woman and that is where he spends the money? Thank you, <laughs> Mr. Shopping. You just said it all. And Olatubosu Abolarinwa, my baddest security expert, stated, Well, it looks like you have married either a scammer or an individual who cannot handle money in marriage. Seek counsel before proceeding, or better still, be prepared to keep your money well and invest wisely. Absolutely. Al Haja Hassan Khadija stated, Let me just go. In this new era, you are saving money with a man, so called husband to be. It's well with you. Alatibasu Abolarinwa stated again, Ladies need to be more careful these days before getting committed in relationships. You're very right, my baddest international security expert you said it all this is coming from a man mabel modukbe ozugu stated well my dear sister that money is gone forever 
So you have learned a lesson now. He's not your husband. Just be patient and pray very well. Move forward. You'll see a responsible man as husband that won't look at your millions. Instead, will add more money into your account. So please be wise. Absolutely, you're right. Adebite Ismail Adejoye stated, just to say a little to what others had commented on. He's not worthy to be your husband. Someone like that will just use you and dump you. It is God that directed your dad to insist on the traditional marriage. If not, you will have entered that is called one chance. My dear sister, try to look for another re responsible man and carry the lessons for the rest of your life. Always insist for a joint account in which the two of you will be a signatures to it. May God guide and provide a suitable man for you. Allahumma ami. That's coming from a man. And Mabel responded to Adebite. She stated, please, must you have joint account? Do your thing yourself and keep it to yourself. Don't fall victim again. Hmm. Nizi Bates stated, if you have evidence of your monthly transactions of that account, you can sue him and get your money back. As for the traditional marriage, forget it. In fact, you need to get the court marriage to be annulled. And there's a lot of comments down below. I'm going to read a few more for you. What I see to this is, this guy is a master manipulator. He gaslighted you because he knows what he was doing. He has, he had a plan. Sometimes, no matter how smart you are, these chief manipulators know how to scam you. Sometimes, you wouldn't know that even you, the person that you claim to call husband or wife can do that to you. So, this is someone that has been messing with your brain. So, he's just going to continue manipulating you and gaslighting you. And guess what? If you open up to people that know the two of you, he would deny that you never gave him any money for any contribution. And you'll be surprised that people will believe him because people like that have plans of how they have executed things to make sure that everything is clean and clear. So that way they portray you as the crazy one, whereas they are really the crazy ones. People like that have been into this business for years. So they know clean ways to get your money without you getting your money back. See him telling you to bring more money? If you're not giving him more money, he's going to run away. So all I advise you now is to start praying for God's direction. Because obviously it's God that wanted you to know who this man is. No matter how uh, good you are to him, he's going to still harm you. So you have to be very careful because he has really shown you who he really is. I'm going to read a few more comments from here. Rekia stated, he just showed you that he is not to be trusted. From look of things, in my opinion, maybe he is just using you. And by the time you investigate further, you may discover that he is lying. Absolutely. Someone that wants you to be part of his life and family will tell or seek for your opinion before using the money to sort his family out. Since he didn't appreciate your support in doing the traditional wedding, just hands up and stop the contribution. If he truly loves you, he will do the needful. It's not even uh, advisable for a woman to join hands with her fiancé to pay or buy things needed because he would come back and betray you and lie about things saying you forcefully forced yourself on him. So be careful. Olabo Me Kukuye stated, you are married by court, so you are already legally married by law. Your marriage is valid, so the thing is stop saving money together with him. He has spending slash money discipline issues, which is very common with a lot of people and not just men alone. If you weren't married, I would have said quit the relationship. If you keep doing things involving money together, one day he will change the names of the properties in your names to his parents' names or his sister's names or something silly. If this
this is the only problem you have in this marriage, it is really easy to handle. Stop saving money together. Simple. Everyone will bring whatever he or she has separately. If you have to do things together, that requires your input. Barakat Morani KG Anole Aziz stated, Wow, this is crazy. I smell disaster, scam, dishonesty, distrust, lies, being betrayed here. My sis, wake up from your slumber and don't let any useless, stupid and senseless love cloud your brain. And Senzo, and she puts the walking away sign. There's a lot of messages here, or what would I say? A lot, and um, Tawakaltu said, we receive sense they will continue to fall victims. Don't send him any money again. And if he wants out, so be it. Because he's not trustworthy. Always and also, if you are close to any of the mentioned family, you can use Tal to ask them to be sure he's saying the truth. Absolutely. Tal Kaltu was very right. means with people like this, definitely he would do something that would warrant them to separate whether you like it or not he's already shown you who he is he's not going to change people like that don't end up changing and um i think that's that's that one said he don't yahoo you my dear sorry about that yahoo when somebody's coming you that's from khadija Oye. god will replace in multiple folds but talk to your leg cause that one no be husband she's telling her this is not someone you should be with you better start running after rahman sani stated no evidence to prove oh he is a complete gaslighter manipulator a psychopath with no empathy and a narcissist to the core imagine him calling you to ask you about your next contribution after he has gaslighted you previously he is a thief do they tell him you pick money from the ground to do your contributions. His own part was marriage for sale, scandal. You made a mistake there, lady, or else solicitors will be able to win your case to reclaim your money back to you. Did he use juju on you to make you do what you did? Hard to tell, but it could be juju. Juju means voodoo. Voodoo is like spiritual manipulation. So... People are doing that these days, so probably that's what Abdul Rahman is telling her. His nemesis awaits him soon, like Kama, on it. Way to get him. Run away from him, but you must need your money back. I went on and responded to Abdul Rahman Sani, stating that everything you stated are 100% true. I respectfully disagree with you stating the truth you gave him was much more than the truth you gave yourself we can't blame the victim for giving her trust to someone who claimed to love her he betrayed her when you feed a hungry dog it does not give you a warning that it will harm you that was my own response to abdul rahman and abdul rahman wrote i agree with you 100 percent ma'am high excellency that slightest quote was done in a mixed reaction by me. I felt very sorry for her. The blames I had for her pretender that was clearly a duper, a 419, a scammer, a liar, a betrayer, a deceiver, like a Lucifer. I value your understanding for my air sentence to pardon with ma'am. Ma'am, I knew you don't condone in nonsense. And I beg you with my cap in my hands. And he put the laughing emoji. Thank you very much, Queen Mother. Her Excellency Hajiani. And I wrote, you're 100% right. Lots of them are Olori Brukus out there. Olori Brukus means unfortunate uh, scammers. And Abdul Rahman wrote, these Olori Brukus are rampant. May Jupiter fall upon their head. May God Almighty hammer them all. Them all are the yeah yeah people. Yeah yeah people means like people who are crazy. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and give us a thumbs up. Thanks for always coming here to watch us. Do not forget to put down your comments below so that other people can learn from your meaningful and impactful feedback. 
May the Almighty God continue to guide and protect you. I love you. Thank you and have a good one.